What's up, everybody? Cineplays here, and welcome to more Let's Play the the oh no, the Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> so, in the last episode, we fought the brutal mech bot thing, and in this episode, we are flying to the Moon Kingdom in our sweet new wedding outfit. And by sweet, I mean I'm going to change it out the second I can. Because I've already made comments on how I feel about the canon of games. I don't know, man. I just, I don't like customization. I like the default. I want the default. Like in Smash Brothers, I got to play with the default color palette. Honey Loon Ridge, the Moon Kingdom. It's where we are at. Bowser's Moon Wedding. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Fly back in here. <laughs> That's better. Okay, this area is awesome because it's like Mario Galaxy themed and Mario Galaxy is like the best 3D Mario game. <laughs> no doubt about it. So I'm loving this. Now we can just like fly with a spin jump because of the very low gravity here on the moon. <laughs> so I notice these star bits over here. There are 50, and if I'm not mistaken, you could get a 1-up for every 50 star bits in Mario Galaxy 1. <laughs> so, I mean... Maybe it was 100. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure it was 50, though. I know in Galaxy 2 it was 100. Oh, there we go. Perfection. So we got those star bits, regional currency stuff over here. There's a warp pipe we can jump into. Like so. So now we can just sort of float over to Bowser's Moon Wedding. So now we can just kind of cheat here <laughs> because of the low gravity. So now let's do a double jump because there's no room for a triple jump. Man, if we had done a triple jump, we would have gotten up there. So now we can just fly with our spin jump. I don't know if I ever told you guys this. You can do a spin jump by twirling the stick around and jumping. Man, that's one thing I need to do. I need to have my Let's Plays be more, more interesting. Because <laughs> right now, they're just like me playing a video game. I need to teach you guys some cool stuff. That took me a while to learn. Or didn't know. <laughs> now we can use a boost flower. Jump over here. And we need to watch out for this spike guy. Wait, can we just like... No, we can't just go over there. We have to go through this quiet wall. I don't know, man. I haven't, I haven't met, met. I haven't seen very many noisy walls before. So I mean, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Got some underground moon caves. Gravity does feel normal because you are closer to the moon's core, and because of that gravity would be heavier and since heavy moon gravity is just normal here gravity and there's no change so with the para dry bones we can fly with b 
and we can shake the controller to fly fast. <laughs> there is a king heart over here, so let's grab that. Because we need it. <laughs> More jank. <laughs> jank with the tank or whatever. Sherm. I think that's his name, actually. But I feel like motion aiming is... Aiming. <laughs> motion aiming is for precise, you know, like precision. You see, like precision. And then the stick is to just like kind of get your bearings. What was that? Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait just a second. What? What? There's probably something we missed. Back over here or something. Is there anything under here? Doesn't look like it. Probably. Probably in winter. Oh dang, we're almost out of King Heart. Hmm. How strange. Oh, is it over? Oh man. You, stop. Stop. <laughs> Guys are over here making me nervous. Is this like a snipe? Do I have to like land like a super sick snipe over here? Snipe of the ages. Super Mario Odyssey <laughs> snipe. <laughs> Maybe I'm just overthinking it. That's what I do for a lot of things. When it comes to games, like, I overthink everything way too much. That's why I'm, like, really bad at, like, Zelda and Metroid. Because, like, I, I overthink things. I'm like, oh, I know. This will be super easy. Or, no, I know. Like, I'll be playing something like Super Metroid. And I'll be like, I bet I know where the power-up for this obstacle is. Halfway across the map. And then it's not there. And then I'm like, dang it, looks like I just trekked across the entire map and it wasn't even there. So that's a bummer. But I do still really like Zelda and Metroid. Really good games. So now we start this little exhilarating section where you gotta dodge these hammer bros and capture them and then use their powers for our own own purposes like clearing out these dirt walls it's probably a moon or something hidden in them no 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 do our little double jump I wonder if we can do this capture list that's what I'm gonna do Oh man, I do want one of these guys though, because then that makes my life at least a little bit easier. Oh darn! Long jump, spin, dive onto this platform homing attack here. Ah. <laughs> Gah! <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. So I need to jump. Jump, throw. So I need to long jump, throw, and then dive back. Ooh, nice! Let's go! Oh man, that was awesome. Okay, watch out because there's a Bonsai Bill blaster. Right there. He's controlled just like regular bullet bills, they're just larger. <laughs> Let's capture a regular bullet bill. Go 
go back over to the Bonsai Bill Blaster, because I'm pretty sure there's some secrets we missed. Oh no, 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 oh no, no, oh no, oh no, oh that's not good, that's, that's not good, that is ungood. I got really close to the mic there. Ah! Alright, so we already collected those regional coin star bit things. So now, we'll just head on over to Secretville. Whoa. Yikes. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like there's any secrets. Hmm. Willing to bet I did something like... No. That just doesn't work. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright. Oh, no! No, I just, like, cannot get hit at all. Darn. I don't like how Mario's like stun locked when he gets in lava. Like, I'm pretty sure in the Galaxy games you were able to save yourself a lot easier. So I'm not a huge fan of the removal of that. I mean I guess it's more realistic. Like if you Like, I feel like if Mario actually did fall in lava, like, he would be a little bit shocked and we wouldn't really be able to move that much. So I mean it's definitely fair. So we use that Moai to traverse that area while I was talking about cartoon characters falling in magma on the moon. Here's a really cool new capture, the Charge and Chuck. These dudes from Mario World. These guys are cool, because you can charge up their tackle, and then you can just do that. And then they make that noise. I was always a massive fan of that noise. Like, pow, noise. Okay, let's do this capture list. Feeling crazy today. Here, it looks like we don't need a spin jump. Darn. No! I di- I dove. I dived. Am I- wait, am I gonna have to start all over again? <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yeah, I got- got really, really worried there. Ooh, check this out. Check this out. Check. That. Out. I think I'm just gonna grab the charge and chuck this time. Because it's just easier. I wonder if motion does anything. No, it just charges up the thing. Tackle. Now if we go all the way up here. <gasps> what? Oh yeah. The Cascade Kingdom boss comes back. See, I'm mostly curious why she was walking her chain chomp on the moon. 
in underground moon caves. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, chain chops are metal, and this one's apparently gold, so... I mean, maybe the lava is good for its complexion. Because in Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, there's Thwomp Volcano, and that's where Thwomps are, like, made, or whatever. I don't really know how it works. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is its home. Whoa! Darn it. So maybe the moon caves are this Chain Chomp's home. Oh, darn it. Oop, nope. N nope. Oh, no! And we're back again. <laughs> this boss has proven to be quite the challenge. Alright. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We did it. We did <laughs> we <gasps> We did it. Dang, we didn't even get a moon. <laughs> Probably because we're right there. What's up, everybody? It's in the place here, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we reached the Moon Kingdom and traveled through the underground moon caverns. In this episode, we're going to fight Bowser. <laughs> Crashing the wedding, Mario? That's tacky, even for you. Also, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters, since you weren't invited. So now it's time for you to make like a bouquet and get thrown out. Get ready, Mario. Here's your happily ever after. Alright, so this Bowser fight works very similarly to the one back in Cloud Kingdom. You want to grab his hat, dodge his projectile thingies, and then just beat him up. Watch out for the fake out. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah, you can hit the 
fake hats and get hearts from those. That's very useful. And just dodge these flaming shells. Oh, dang. Double fake out there. Looks like the spin jump is not very effective. <laughs> At least from the way I see it. Okay, we just... Oh, darn. Here. Let's grab that heart. He's gonna use it again. So we want to go down this hill, and then we can do this. And then we can just sort of become Bowser. <laughs> you know, controls are pretty simple. You can press Y to attack, B to jump. And then we can shake to blow fireballs. Pretty sure there aren't many moons or any moons <laughs> in this section, so don't don't worry. Don't worry about it. You're good. You're good. So here's some really cool 2D section as Bowser. So you got the Bowser and the the 8-bit princess sprite too, and the 8-bit Bowser sprite and. The 8-bit Mario... Oh, pff, darn. The 8-bit Mario Bowser Sprite. Oh, we gotta start over. Darn it. So we messed up last time. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. That's better.
I'd imagine speedrunners do this. <laughs> like, preemptively use fire attack. Love that ending. <laughs> so, that brings to an end. Here, I'm going to up the gain a little bit. So, that brings the end of my very first Let's Play. Wow. I know I started more series instead of, like, actually finishing this one. But, I don't know, man. It's nice. This game... It's pretty solid, like, I'll admit, it's not my favorite 3D Mario, but it's fun. I like it. It's a fantastic game. And if you haven't played it, I recommend you play it. It's on the Switch. It's really, it's really good. So here we get some memories of our... How I don't even remember when I started this series. It's like I was redoing my playlists and... I was looking for the first episode of this, but then I remember I had deleted it because it's a whole Coppa dealio, right? So I don't even know when the first episode was. So I had it dated at about 2018 because that's when uh, I remember I got my Switch in 2017 for Christmas, and then I got... Mario Odyssey then, too, so it would have had to been 2018. So that's when I started it. So this Let's Play has been two years long. <laughs> which, which is a long time. 
but it was fun. I liked it. I really did like this Let's Play. So what's next? Well, because of the scheduling issues, <laughs> I, so far, if you're watching this, Pikmin 3 is done and up on the channel now by the time this episode will come out. So now, I don't know if I've done the Minecraft bonus episode yet because you're watching this probably like a month into the future. So probably a Minecraft bonus video. I know this series gets a few bonus videos. Uh, Pikmin 3 might get a few bonus episodes. I doubt it, but maybe. I know Mission Mode's fun, so we might do that. So I guess some bonus episodes. M next big series is coming, uh, if you're watching this video now, very soon. <laughs> like, maybe even tomorrow. I don't know. But, thank you guys so much for watching. I had fun with this Let's Play. It's awesome. Stay tuned for bonus videos. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> so, this has been Cinda Plays. Thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. And, I'll see you guys later. Peace.